everybody. Welcome to another episode of The Final Credits. I am your host today, Johnny64, here with Spade, Big Grim, and Pancakes. Uh, today, we are talking about the full season review, um, finally talking about the full season review of the recently finished Last of Us Season 1. Um, obviously, the biggest show of the year so far, Pedro Pascal killing it between this and Mandalorian. Um, we did an initial first impressions video on the first half of the season. Uh, if you watch that video, uh, obviously you'll know that our impressions were initially very positive. Uh, we loved it uh, up until that point, but did we continue loving it up until the end of the season? Um, long story short, all I'll say right now is that I need therapy. <laughs> it's just so much, so much, so much emotional uh, torment uh, to, to to get through that 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 show. It in a good way though. I mean, the story was a uh, you know captivating to say the least but uh what do the rest of you guys think what, what, what's the what's the general consensus here best show in past uh 10 years best show of the year it's up there it's up there uh but let me tell you something this new season of the mandalorian was great pedro pascal back uh with the child wait what wrong child wrong child <laughs> what do you but he's protecting a child uh, he's a loner he's a oh my, my bet my bad, everybody. I was getting my shows mixed up, but Pedro Pascal's killing it. But all jokes aside, what a <laughs> what a ride! It's it's hard to put the words into it uh, to show you how powerful the show is. You think uh, the night the time we're recording this, uh, it's the week after the Oscars. You think uh, the night the Sunday night, uh, no show is going to put on a new episode. No, not Last of Us, not HBO. It broke its own record, same day record, I should say, 8.2 million viewers across HBO, the main channel, digital platforms. Uh, it just gripped you. And this is ultimate proof that if you have the right creative people, uh, do you could take a video game and adopt it to other mediums, what are a movie in this case, uh, streaming and TV. Uh, but the fact that that ending where... Pedro Pascal as Joe went John Wick, Frank Castle on the fireflies and lit up all their asses because, you know, he, he did his job. He got, he got Ellie to the, to where she needs to go, but, awesome. at, but at what cost to sacrifice her? Uh, and the ending was just like the video game, which is mind blowing that they, I mean, of course, they took creative liberties along the way. They have to for TV show. But the fact that it remained loyal to so much in the original game, God bless the people that made this show. But what a ride. But any pos any light or positivity that we witnessed, whether it was Ellie in the mall with her friend uh, playing Mortal Kombat, the giraffe in the final episode, uh, it the world was so destroyed that it was – a only a matter of time that the negativity and the evil and yes the virus the infection and the clickers were the main cause of all the destruction but it was just the people on their own finding each other that was the ultimate you know there was no you don't know what's right or wrong and the fireflies were the ultimate example of humans out of desperation becoming evil doing what they have to do uh but I, I, i'm gonna stop for now but grim uh, please take over. I thought it sucked. I thought it was terrible. I, you I, suck. I, 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 no, Boy. I, I can't keep yeah. up that line. Yeah. I can't. <laughs> it was great. I loved it. It was... Right now, yeah, uh, this is my favorite show. Uh, definitely for the year. Um, Like uh, Pancake said, there was a lot of, like, shades of gray in this and i know that's the new thing now there is no black and white there's no such thing as that there's all shades of gray but at the same time seeing certain things happen seeing ellie break down and when i say break down just be obliterated for an entire episode was insane and in the uh, finale just that recovery process alone where Joel is trying to connect with her again and just gets to a point where it's like, all right, bring out your damn pun uh, book and, you know, let's listen to some shitty puns. But when uh, he calls I, her a baby girl at the end of that. Oh, my time. God. Uh, my heart. But that's what he was calling his daughter also, no? 
Yes, right? that, that, was the, yes. that was the point that, of that scene. So. That's why, because this entire time, I'm so glad you brought that up, this entire time, she has just been cargo. That's it. Yes. And in that one moment of trying to recover someone and essentially calling them their daughter, it, done. Yeah. Um, and they had uh, that whole I, fight too. What, that that one episode where they were, you know, where she he was telling her like, "You're not my daughter," and she was you, like, "You're the only person that you know mm-hmm. I, I trust." And if you're not there, then I'm only just more scared. So I mean, that, 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 to... something else I definitely want to bring up too, because this absolutely needs to be brought up. Three names have to be brought up in this. In which case, I thought it was phenomenal. Uh, in the one episode that I just talked about, where Ellie breaks down. We have a cameo of Troy Baker. Troy Baker, of yes. course, being the motion capture actor for Joel in the video game. Also did a phenomenal job. Also, just to bring him in, I thought was so As cool. As a pedophile. I, no, no, he wasn't a pedophile. The main he, guy. He was uh, a pedophile's assistant. Yeah. Well, he, he was uh, the enabler. But, Tomato, potato. Uh, number two, <laughs> Ashley god damn johnson oh my word perfect bringing her in as ellie's mother in the season finale i thought was just a masterpiece i thought it was a stroke of art could not get any better also uh correct me if i'm wrong uh people in uh the comment section but in uh the game we never really got a reason why ellie was immune nope we never did now we do and I thought it, it was a great way. And number three, uh, the third name I need to bring up because I've only really actually found out about this today, Laura Bailey. Uh, Laura Bailey was uh, one of the nurses in, uh, the, um, in the hospital room where Joel is saving Ellie. Now, I, I know you three are like, Laura Bailey, who's that? To you true fans out there, you know who I'm talking about. You know what's coming. I'm not going to tell these three. Don't worry about it. Look it up, guys. But uh, um, as of right now, that's all I got to say. Look, hmm. all I'm going to say is the following. Bella Ramsey better win a goddamn fucking Emmy for this. Mm. Emmy. Because she Emmys. was in yes. fucking she incredible. She was phenomenal. Okay? She was great. Yeah. Loved her. I yeah. called, I'm, honestly, I'm not going to repeat what everybody else said because they pretty much said everything. The show is fucking awesome. Yeah. There are no words to exp- like. I literally will tell you that this show is the best show that I can think of in the last five years. It blows everything out of the water. And this coming from a person who has never played the games, ever. So Me neither. Same I, I went in there with a blank canvas and I liked it. I really did. And people who played the game still like it. And even though there are a couple of subtle changes or, you know, major, depending on how big of a fan you are, but th- this is amazing. This show is great. There's not one thing. The only thing that kind of annoyed me was... I was about to say, it's, it's let's, uh, well, real quick, before you get into that, uh, to the group real quick, and we're getting to get back to you in a hot second. Was there an episode that you all did not like? I was getting to that. Ooh. The last episode. The last episode was Uh-oh. the worst episode. You want to know why? Because All right. It was sure. The shortest episode, and it made me feel like yeah. I was watching the see the series finale of The Sopranos, where it just went black. I was like, "That's ah. not that bad." No, but, 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 we're gonna get oh, season two for look, it. Look, look, so. Let me let me let me let me go into more detail. Mm-hmm. I'm not pissed off as it sucked. I'm pissed off because I want more. I, I want the show to continue. <laughs> That's, well, that's, that's why I'm more. pissed off. I don't want to wait two more years for the show to come it's, back. It's that's coming, why to me it was so abrupt, and I was like, mm, "Why, why?" But whatever, it is what it I is. Mean, but listen, well, I will literally give this show a ten out of ten. If yeah. you want to say what the worst episode was, quote unquote, maybe the least uh, action, but when they find Joel's brother. And they find an established town where people are able to come back. But again, but again, you get the emotional setup between Ellie and Joel, where they're fighting one another. He's telling her to stay with his brother, uh, played by Gabriel Luna, who I liked from some uh, other things. 
<laughs> but the point every little will is, still love you. Don't worry about it. <laughs> my point is, I I just had a major brain freeze there. Uh, I, I guess it's the worst because there's at least Ashton, but still a lot of drama to add to the overall narrative. Uh, maybe the two episodes with the two brothers maybe steals the whole damn thing, but then you can make the same argument about when they deal with the evil cult and the guy that's a pedophile uh, pastor slash cannibalist. Uh, it's so hard to choose. I would probably say, yeah, the, 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 the thing is with this show is that it, it, it was, I feel like it was a perfectly lengthened uh, series that there was a perfect amount of episodes. It wasn't like, you know, the MCU Disney plus shows where they could have used an extra couple episodes to flesh out the story more. It mm-hmm. like every episode had its own purpose, like yep. story. I felt like, and they perfectly, like I said, the last episode of the, the season probably could have been a little bit longer. But even so, like no. just the the message that it gave, the it, it, it's it, they purposefully made it a divisive ending. Some people are going to make it uh, about you know Joel being right. Some people are going to make it about him being wrong, and everything that came before for them just really led up to that final episode. You know. All the it, it, literally, it's it, it's gonna sound so lighthearted, but like literally, the show is all about the friends they made along the way, right? Yeah, it, it, it definitely <laughs> That's, is. And then I... you know, once they so once they finally got to their, but it's it's really the friends they lost along the way because every single episode, like I said, was just an emotional gut punch. The um, giraffe like survived. The, gi- the giraffe. Right. Yeah. Great. The giraffe uh, is there, but let's not completely ignore episode three, guys. Yeah, totally. Uh, everything will be well. Fine. I was gonna, I was about to make a comment. <laughs> Steve, do you think? Well, do you still? We, stand- we, we spoke about that in the first impressions video, but yeah, yeah, I mean, obviously, that still remains like the highlight of the season. Oh, that's the saying. best episode ever yeah. in any TV show. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I just answered my question. If you just, if you stood if you stood of course. stand by what you said. Of course, of course. Yeah. I'm not backing down. I said it. That was the best episode ever. Anything in anything. Yeah, I mean, it, it, honestly, the only debate is if like any other episodes might have topped it because it, it can be argued. But uh, yeah, no, that that episode three with. Um, uh, well, the I'm only episode, the, the only episode that I can think that may possibly top it, but not because of of an emotional like love aspect as episode three was. But the episode where Ellie is, you know, literally killing the guy at the end of the episode. Oh my god! Yeah, that's what that could be the only ready. episode that I would say that was good too. So yeah. I would say well, those that, were my top two. That mother effer had it coming the whole episode. And what's interesting with that one was you're anticipating that Joel, you know, he's fully recovered from his injuries. He's taken down his henchmen one by one you thought he was going to burst through the doors but if you watch the behind the scenes documentary uh they said oh yeah the audience is anticipating this that's not what we wanted to do they let ellie uh, i'm so happy that they made that choice yeah to save herself that was chef's kiss and also to just just address too like what people say about their like oh like i feel like the one overarching criticism is that people might say like oh they needed more um you know infected they needed more clickers and all that stuff there were parts of the that's game that wasn't mm-hmm. not well, yeah i mean that, that's gonna happen in season two according to the directors and everybody but like that's not what this show this season was for it was yeah. it was about showing what society is going through how it degrades how people like just turn to animals how they will literally eat each other when things go bad that's what it was about and i think that was like the beautiful part of the show I feel but, like um, a lot of people yeah. are looking at like, oh, it has zombies in it and it's a TV show. Clearly it's The Walking Dead and everything needs to be exactly like The Walking Dead, which could not be further from the truth. Yeah, uh, not honestly, at all. Yeah. yeah. I mean, th- th- and there was definite like uh, fatigue from that show too. So the fact that oh, this show was oh, so, so, so popular and so successful despite that, I mean, it mm-hmm. goes to show like how well uh, written it was. Yep. But um, yeah, uh, so like like we all said, uh, there's nothing but great things to say about this show, other than the fact that it might send you to therapy. But uh, yeah. honestly, <laughs> that, uh, I, probably my favorite video game adaptation. Yeah, I mean, no, it, no. It, it, it opens the door for um, you know, a, alongside what Mario and all the, the you know Sonic and all the other great uh, you know adaptations we've been getting so far. Um, just part of the, the video game renaissance, I think. But um, yeah, um, until then, we're definitely going to be looking forward to season two. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments what you might have liked or not liked about this season, but I think there's definitely a lot more to like. 
Uh, so until next time, see you in the next one and roll credits. We out. <laughs>